Hey YouTube, this is Brett from Learn Time from a White Guy. .com. Uh, today I was gonna finish this video that I made like four years ago, I think 2009 maybe, about the tones. Where I never actually finished telling you all about the tones. Sorry about that. I got an email from someone the other day, so I figured I might as well do it. I'm in a hotel in Bangkok right now, which is way quieter than my room in Chiang Mai, so it's a good opportunity. All right. Anyways, Thai five tones. We got mid tone or common tone. Uh, there doesn't matter what you want to call them, but it's a uh, good word example is coffee in Thai. Ga fa, ga fa. That's how you say coffee. It's two common tones. The the trick for most people is being consistent in those tones. So both the ga and the fa they have to sound the same. They have to be the same exact tone. So you can't, you have to, once you find your tone, stick with it. Now, mid tone should normally be your 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 regular tone of voice. Whatever, however you talk now is fine. So if your voice is on the lower side, it's okay for your common tone to be that. Like it's it's all it's all relative to uh, what you, what your normal voice is, what's comfortable for you. All right. And then next is the low tone. Low is like low tone is you, know, you sound like you're really bummed out about life. You're really depressed. So like. Uh, like uh, gone or what else? Guy. That's everyone's favorite animal. Guy. So compare ga fa with guy. All right. Common. <clears throat> Sorry. Common low. Uh, and then falling is just like what I said. Falling. Practicing these things in English is always a good idea. Common low falling because. There's nothing weird going on. You can already say the word in English. Just try saying it differently. Try saying it. Try to say it again and again. That way, falling, 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 falling. The falling tone is very similar to if you were saying hi to someone across the street, like someone a little bit far away trying to get their attention, or hailing a taxi, or if you jump up, jump off your, the roof of your house, like a second-story house, and you say like whatever you say as you're jumping off the roof would be, probably be a falling tone, like ah, ban, uh. Die, cow, and so forth. Anyways, so common low falling, and then next is high, and the high tone is high tone is pretty tough for most people. It does move up a little bit and then it levels out, but it's 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 very high. It's <laughs> obviously it's it's a, it's got to be way beyond your comfort zone in, in how you talk. And this is obviously weird because yeah, it's going to sound weird. It sounds strange when you first start doing this coming from a language like English. So let's see, common word is hot. Ron, Ron, which you can say with the trilled R or not. It doesn't really matter. Ron, Ron. I won't carry the way. Uh, and let's see, uh, then rising tone. So rising. So uh, like the, the you know the question word like by my my rising just practice saying these things in English falling rising falling rising and do this for a couple minutes and then just mix back and forth go falling rising low and just practice doing this in English until you master the tone rules which you should absolutely do if you want to get any good at time uh, you can you can quickly get the hang of these tones I mean this is I, I speak a few languages that are have tonal length that I guess once you've done one there it's really easy to pick up tones in another language after that uh, the trick to being able to hear the difference between them is to be able to, <laughs> to, to understand the difference between them and be able to say them yourself. So even if you can't say them perfectly, which is obviously normal, I mean, it takes a while. This is not something that you can do in, in, in a day and become a master of. You, but if you practice saying the sounds, it will make it a thousand times easier to hear the differences between the tones. This Actually, this is not just tones. This applies to vowels, too, and consonants. If you know what's happening with the sound and you say it correctly, you will be able to hear it. All right, good luck. Shoot me questions if you have them. Learn Thai from white uh, I now have a book out for learning the alphabet. You could check that out too at my website. Uh, if you want another video about something, let me know. Good luck.